I really do not fucking get how this street is so empty, okay? There's only a few cars parked in this street. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, this is a good place to blog. Then there's this bitch, Hummer, in back of me. I don't know what that bitch was waiting for me to do. But I'm like, I'm not moving. And then there was another bitch that literally came out of her fucking house just to fucking start sweeping the fucking street when it's 45 fucking degrees out in Chicago. It's just like, bitch, give me my fucking space. Like, I'm not doing nothing that will fucking interrupt you. Oh, and there's another fucking bitch right now in front of me that is checking his fucking car battery. It's just like, what the fuck? I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna blog, and it is what it is. It's the end of the fucking story. Stop looking at me! Mind your own fucking business! <sighs> I hate it. They're fucking, like, nosy as fuck. Like, why can't fucking people mind their own fucking business? It's not like I'm a fucking bum or I'm fucking gonna, like, steal shit from your house or something. Bitch, no! I'm parked outside in a nice vehicle trying to have my fucking time Trying to have my fucking coffee. Trying to eat my fucking cake. Look at this bitch just fucking lurking. Lurking. Just standing there. Oh my fucking god. I don't know what's up guys. It, it's just one of those days. I'm a little aggravated because I really cannot stand people lately. This is a fucking reason why I have no friends right now. Because I don't want any... I didn't want to go through the entire motion and and fucking time consuming to fucking get to know someone that in the end it's probably going to be a fucking piece of shit that is not going to have your fucking back. I've learned my lesson from this other fucking bitch who I no longer talk to. And it is what it is. Like, I don't know why fucking bitches all of a sudden want to come out out of the fucking, like... I don't know, the fucking alley or wherever they were fucking hiding all fucking winter. Oh my god, I, I just cannot concentrate, guys. I really cannot concentrate. This is like a perfect spot, perfect lighting. Whatever, it, it is what it is, whatever. If the cops come, whatever. I'm just gonna tell them that I'm a fat ass and that I'm trying to eat my fucking cake and trying to fucking drink my coffee. Oh, finally, you fucking laughed. Like, how hard was that? Like, how fucking hard was that, bitch? How fucking hard was that? Like, there is no nice car that is parked outside the street besides mine. So, don't even go there. Just fucking, I hate it. I hate it. Anyway... So, I get this text message today from an unknown number. Well, it's an email address that's obviously spam. Wishing to lose 48 pounds inside of 48 days? Question mark, question mark. And then I reply, and I'm like, text, beep, beep, beep. She got liposuction, and she still looks big. Like, I know who the fuck is giving out my number, and fucking sending me spam. I have no fucking beef with anyone but this fucking bitch. And if she wants me to fucking open the box of Pandora, I will be more than happy to fucking open that fucking box. Leave me the fuck alone. I don't even know why I'm too fucking nice to fucking reply to your text message after you're fucking shady as fuck. After you were not a friend to me. After you didn't have my back. I am too fucking nice to fucking reply to your text message when I don't hear from you in over six months and then I'm so fucking like nice to say hey what's up what's going on bitch no anyway this bitch texts me and all of a sudden she texts my best friend what is this guy taking pictures of what is this guy taking pictures of? You guys see this fucking guy taking pictures of me, guys? Like, for real. Like, what is he taking pictures of? He comes out with his iPhone and starts taking pictures of me. And I'm like, 
what the fuck? These people are so motherfucking nosy. So motherfucking nosy. And I'm about to go off on their fucking motherfucking ass. Like, go back inside. Go fucking do your fucking taxes. Drink your fucking coffee. Go fucking watch Dr. Phil. Stop fucking minding my fucking business, bitch. I'm inside my car. Leave me the fuck alone. Anyway. He's just like outside just fucking staring at me like, fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Like, literally, fuck you. So fucking aggravated. Anyway. So... I'm too nice enough to reply and I'm like, hey, what's up, this and that. Bitch reads my fucking text message. Doesn't even has a courtesy again to reply within a really good time frame of me fucking like sending you that text message and saying, oh, well, hey, what's up? Like, bitch, no, we're not playing this fucking game. We're not fucking playing this game, bitch. Two hours pass by, no fucking reply, bitch. You're going back on motherfucking block. You are, because I don't need fucking bitches like that. I don't need fucking trolls that are only going to be my friend when the weather is fucking nice. No, bitch. And stop sending me those fucking text messages saying if I fucking want to lose 48 fucking pounds. Because I don't want to lose fucking 48 fucking pounds. I am so comfortable and so happy with my skin, with the way I am, with the way I look. Why don't you fucking go back to fucking Tijuana and get your ass, your fucking, like, tummy tuck for the second time, bitch. Because obviously that first time didn't fucking help you at all because you still look like a fucking fat ass sucker mom. So don't go there, bitch. Do not go there. Do not fucking go there. Leave me the fuck alone because I want nothing to do with you. You are not my girl. You are not my friend. I don't give a fuck about you anymore. If you don't come for me, if you mind your own business, if you leave me the fuck alone, we're going to be okay. I just don't got time for that, guys. I really do not have time for that. I am doing my thing, minding my business, drinking my motherfucking coffee, staying in my fucking lane. I have no fucking issues with anyone right now. Life is so good. I just don't care anymore. I really do not care, guys. It's just... No, outrageous. Just stop. All right? My friends are not going to hang out with you. Telling them that you miss them. Bitch, they don't miss you. Anyway, guys, I'm going to move out of here because I just feel that that fucking troll in that house is fucking lurking. And whatever. I'm just going to gonna move. We're going to park somewhere else really quick. And I'm going to let you guys know what I've been up to, what I've been doing, and why I haven't blogged for over a month. And you guys know me again. You know, if I'm not organically, like, there with the blogs, I'm not going to do anything about it because I just don't feel it. You know, today I felt like getting glam. Today I was just like, you know what? We're going to blog a little. We're going to do a little rant video. And I'm going to catch up with you guys. And that's what we're going to do. And that's what I'm doing, guys. So I need to find a spot really quick where I can park. I eat my motherfucking cake. Okay? Yes, bitch. I'm going to eat my cake. Do I want to lose 48 pounds? No, bitch. No, bitch. If I really wanted to be anorexic, I could have fucking gone to Tijuana like your fucking fat ass and got it in a fucking liposuction or got it fucking, got it like a fucking motherfucking fish. Even though you got fucking cut like a motherfucking fish, you still look fucking ugly and disgusting. So don't come for me, bitch. Do not come for me. Instead of fucking like going to fucking Tijuana again, to get more work done, you should fucking consult a fucking plastic surgeon. Ugh. There's a tow truck in front of me. And this bitch outside. Whose truck is being repoed. And she's going out hood. Bitch, pay your fucking bill. What is this? What, what, what are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? <sighs> fucking. I hate Chicago drivers. Because they're so fucking dumb. They're dumb as fuck. 
I don't even know if like half of these people have driver's license because they're fucking dumb. They don't know how to drive. They don't know their fucking signals. They don't know their fucking stop signs. They don't know their fucking interaction with the world. I don't know. I don't know. And then on top of that, guys, um, people like to fucking tailgate you in Chicago. And we don't play this game. You tailgate me, bitch. I am going to go slower. I'm going to park here really quick. Fuck it. I don't give a fuck. Oh, even the lighting sucks in here. Sorry, guys. Like, today I'm just, like, in a rant, fucking rant mood. I, I am, guys. And you guys know that I'm trying to stay positive. You guys know that I'm trying to fucking stay drama-free. But you guys also know that you love my drama videos. You guys know that, okay? So don't even, like, start and say, oh, my God. You guys want to hear the fucking tea. I always got some fucking tea. All right, we're going to try to park at fucking KFC's parking lot. Oh, my God. Well, the fucking crackheads are out. Like, bitch. All the fucking crackheads got the memo to they meet at the fucking KFC parking lot. Anyway, guys, this coffee, whoever made it at Dunkin', 10 out of 10. You guys know that I am so picky with people that make my coffee. And most likely, I'm not going to like it. But this coffee is just so, so, so good. I ask for, um, what is it, three caramel swirls. And I guess one almond milk in there, whatever. Anyway, um... This bitches. Really? Like, I'm going, bitch. I don't know how fucking dumbass you are. Like, they want to drive, like, fucking two miles an hour and expect me to fucking stop. No, bitch. You're getting hit. Just fucking cunts. Fucking cunts. Anyway, guys, so I have a new signal that comes out on St. Patty's Day. It is a cover version of Share Song Believe. Ooh! Oh my god, this light is so, like, in my face. Oh, I don't know where to park. Okay, so right now, I'm by the hood, or in the hood. And it doesn't bother me, guys, because, listen, I could be a hood rat, too. Don't let this fool you, bitch. I can still be hood. I can still go down. Listen, bitch, I might be driving a Mercedes Benz, but I have a fucking baseball bat in the backseat of my car. Don't get me started. And if you know, and if you've been following me for a while, you know that I'm not lying, bitch. I got that fucking baseball bat in the backseat of my fucking car. It is Chicago. You gotta be prepared for everything. Listen, bitch. Don't come for me. It is 2022, bitch. I am coming for you, bitch. Ooh, that would have been a good spot. Oh my god. I hate driving around this time. It is 3.30 in the evening on a Monday. And everyone is literally getting off of work, going home, or, I don't know, going to fucking KFC. Do I want to lose 48 pounds, bitch? Do I want to lose 48 pounds? Oh, this is my mom's tiramisu. And then, this is my piece of cake. 
Oh my god, that cannoli smells so good. This is actually one of my favorite, if not my favorite, pastry in Chicago. They are owned by this awesome Italian family who's been around in the business for many, many years. And they're always super nice to me every time that I go there. And since I was a kid, like my parents used to buy me, you know, Ferrara cake um, every single year on my birthday. So it's like a little tradition. Mm. Do I want to lose 48 pounds, you fucking bitch? And I don't give a fuck anymore if you watch this vlog and if you're like, you're talking about me, you're talking about me, you're talking about me. Yes, bitch, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you because you're fucking fake as fuck. I'm talking about you because you're not a fucking loyal friend. I'm talking to you because you need to fucking chill with your motherfucking karma. You got no fucking friends, bitch. Every fucking friend that you meet runs away from your fucking life because they fucking sense your fucking energy and they can fucking tell that you're a fucking bitch. All of the fucking hood rats are coming out. Like, do they think I'm a fucking drug dealer? Bitch, I got cake. Want some? Mmm. I don't give a fuck. Anyway, I just want a little piece of this cake because it is just so delicious, guys. If I had the fucking crazy ass to park outside in the hood, like I said, I'm not scared of the hood. I'm really not. I'm not. You know, I don't like violence. I don't like any of that fucking like get on a shit. But if you really want me to go hood, I will go hood. Bitch, I will go hood. I'm a Taurus. I will fucking go hood and I will fucking go hood on your ass. Okay, why is this bitch still in her vehicle? Like, why? Like, why? Go do your thing. Like, it's not fucking like five degrees where you gotta fucking heat up your car, bitch. Go. Anyway, guys, so let me tell you guys exactly when my new single's coming out. My new single's coming out in two days, bitch! Two days! Radimus Believe. This is a track that I've always wanted to record. Guys, I was in the recording studio recording another track and I like to mess around in the studio. I like to like, you know, laugh and play around and do my thing, whatever. And then on one of my breaks, I was just like, do you believe, do you believe, oh. And then my producers were just kind of like looking at me and just kind of like, wait, stop, do that again. And I'm like, do what? Whatever you just said, I'm like, do you believe, do you believe? They were like, um, you know, my main producer was like, hey, you should really record that track. And I was like, no, no, no. So he's like, give it a shot. So we're like, okay, let's, let's do it. It sounded so fucking amazing that I was just like, you know what? Okay, let's do it. So we finally recorded the track. It took about six months for Warner Brothers to approve it because it has to go through the original songwriter and um, distribution company. So Warner Brothers is the one that owns that song. She has nothing to do with it. She gets her royalties and that's about it. Most of my royalties will go to the songwriter slash Warner Brothers. So I had my team take care of that. 
and finally this song is going to be distributed by Universal and I'm just super excited guys because I've been working so hard for many many years and you know some of my friends don't even take my singing seriously because to be honest with you guys I'm that humble that I don't throw my music in their face and if they want to listen to my music by all means thank you if they don't then no hard feelings you know that's just the way that I am guys but I have more loyalty towards people that are not close to me that love my music if it makes sense you know and it's always gonna be like that guys you know if you're not famous family is always gonna be like eh, well mm. but once you fucking make it big mark my words everyone's gonna come out of the fucking Woodward everyone cousins aunts grandmas bitch I don't want my grandma to come out of the fucking Woodward bitch stay there stay there that is someone that I really want to stay far away. Far away. Like, seriously. I'm going to make another blog about her, about my dad, about shit that it fucking went on. I, I just don't... Ugh, don't ruin my vibe. Just shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. Anyway. Anyway, let me just end this vlog. And I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye. Bye.